Okay, this is um, uh, this is some lentils uh, that what was used to plant last year. We see quite a few splits here. Overall, it's a nice lentil, just a few canales and splits. But um, since it's already seed quality grain, we want to see um, what Alma's grain cleaner gonna do, and uh, we'll see you see you that in a minute. The idea what it gets you larger ones yeah. mm -hmm. oh yeah see that looks nice see, we didn't play with adjustments just whatever it was we just yeah. run through yeah but it, i mean it gives you an idea yeah. because these lentils are not much bigger than what the previous grain yeah. was so we didn't run it on fire See, if we had our conveyor, Chad, then we yeah. could, uh, all of our seed would be like this. And you look at there, if you look no at the cracks. last section. Yeah. There's the odd crack, but lots of... That's pretty much what the last yeah. section looks like. That, you see, they're very tiny, they're thin. Mm -hmm. You know what, Chad? Even, like, looking at this, I like that because this stuff, sometimes... Uh, no. And there's some cannoli. Sometimes there. when we sell our lentils, mm -hmm. they all, of course go by appearance, right? Yes. What it looks like. This is what I buy things yeah. for like. Yeah. I look at and it. you want it to look like that. You don't want those ones, the dark in there. Yeah. So even, let's say, let's say we grow and we get bad weather and we get stained lentils like that. Mm -hmm. They'll give us maybe a three or an extra three for it but there's a lot of money lost instead of a two. Yeah, so how, depending think, how much you do the lentils, how many bushels. Yeah, lots. Yeah, a lot. 3,000, 30,000. 30,000. Yeah. Okay, so then you can do your math, yeah. your homework with all yeah. this. So you, you sit down with a piece of paper and you do your homework. Mm -hmm. You want to see, I mean, you have extra pair of hands, you know? <laughs> yeah. they, they, That's good on the computer. Yeah, because the, the guy in, in Iowa, he has three daughters. Okay, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So you have, a, you have a man here. Yeah. You can make him clean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but the thing is, when it's set up right, even girl can watch it, to be honest with you, because all the demos I do on the, you know, on the farm shows and yeah. stuff, you're mostly doing shooting and stuff, yeah, yeah, videoing and walking around, see what's new, you know, his, but I am And you're mostly, the one doing the work. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I work for food. He feeds me after. <laughs> I guess that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a nicer ones here. I need to figure out something with this. Yeah. But yeah, I like even how it did. Yeah, that's... Because we were seeding that stuff. Yeah. Well, I guess that would get you... That's the second one. And so, like, for me, if I had this on my farm, I would keep... Well, I'd probably even keep that. Sorry if he's video. Well, I don't know. How much is it? 5% maybe? Yeah. Out of the whole but thing? But you know what? I could sell... I could still sell that and get get rid of it and keep so this is piece. together it's about 10 to 15 percent okay yeah, but that 10 15 percent on your field is probably not gonna give you a good no. yield no it isn't so pretty I much this one is helpful this one is not really no and i can sell that anyway so you're putting your manpower you're putting fertilizers you're putting you know yeah. if you're, you're 
space on the field yeah. into it and the reality is this is a waste yeah. for your time and everything so if you do all this adds up yeah. in you know then it makes sense called the grain the seed yeah. you know besides that cleaning the grain so that's that's a homework you need to do figure yeah. out what's what yeah. what make more sense for you bigger smaller yeah. you know and time and the rest of the stuff Well, if you had a 300 bushel machine, uh, are you best to, uh, to yeah, you could do 20, 2400. Yeah. We get a couple beers, good yeah, music. Okay. Just do the that's setup the and just watch it. Buddies, that's what they'd be doing. They'd I'd have to get out here because the truck would be overflowing. <laughs> drinking beer. Um, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> All night. Are sure. you best to run it close to max? Because like a, a 20 ton machine, mm -hmm. you say can do maximum 300 and... 360, 60. I think. Okay. So because it's a... It's a, a 20 <laughs> 20 ton, 20 ton, 730. Oh, okay, the 10 ton. This is the first digit, it's ton. 10.5, yeah, yeah, okay. 10 ton, it's 367 bushels. Right. So are you best at trying to max it out at that 350, or you will you get a better job at, say, uh, 300? No, that's that's a maximum what the opening gives you. Right. You know what I mean? You run it at that, oh. it does good. It just you cannot go jump over it because that's... No, 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 no. It doesn't do just as good of a but, job. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter because... So if, if it was a manual one and I wanted to go 360, mm -hmm. the max, yes. would it do as good a job as if I was going 100 bushel? Absolutely, yeah. because you have the thing to play with the air. Right, to If give you it more feel air. it doesn't give you, you just give it more play air. more, yeah, okay. You just open it a little more, give it more air coming yeah. in. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 